In this video, we'll be discussing the various components that can be used with the RFI interface, and the workings of it with your inputs, your programmable outputs, as well as the JVA Cloud router. If we look over here, this is your Wi-Fi gateway. This will provide the connection from your Wi-Fi router to our JVA Cloud router, and then through here to our phone, where phone or desktop, where it can be accessed. Your RFI board, as you can see here our antennae, the button used for programming, our two hardwired inputs. These can be programmed as normally open or normally closed as required, as well as our two programmable outputs. As default, they come as siren and strobe, but can be used in any other condition as per our programmable menu on the keypad. Moving on to our keypad, as all of our JVA product ranges, works exactly the same. Moving on to our screen, we can then see in zone number one, the beams indicated as 01, 02, and 03, showing that there are three RoboGuard beams programmed into our RFI interface. The number on the right-hand side will indicate your signal strength, five being your highest, one being your lowest, and that is all depending on how far away the RoboGuard is away from the RF interface. We can now look to arm the RF interface through our RoboGuard remote. You can then see it shows as armed. Again, push and hold. And then it will show you as the system is now disarmed. You'll also notice on the RFI board, whenever there is a, a RoboGuard signal coming in, it will show there, as well as the armed condition with the LED over there and to disarm that LED will go away. Moving on to our router, we can now see our Wi-Fi gateway and the status of that, our RF interface and the relevant zones as well as your digital inputs and your digital outputs. We can look to individually arm and disarm various zones that will show in there by the lock that it is in the armed condition. On our RFI board, shows as armed on the RFI. To disarm that individual zone, we can now see it is in the disarm state. So another feature we can look at using is our logs over here. You can search from date, device type, as well as the events that have happened. You can then see a comprehensive event log of what has happened on that specific day to each zone. You can then move back to our dashboard over there and do a full site arm. You can then see all of our zones that have been armed. You can then go to our JVA keypad where we can see it is in the armed condition as well as over there, and we can do a disarm on our keypad. It will reflect on your RFI board, and then again here on your cloud router. For more information on our radio frequency interface, please visit our website.